When we first arrived at the Maasai village, we saw this family's livestock behind a fence made from wires given to them by the authorities. The wires protect the livestock and family from wild animals like hyenas and lions. They are totally dependent on their livestock and is the source of all their money. The Maasai live in huts that are made by the women. The walls are made of cow dung, mud, sticks, grass, human urine, and ash. And the roof can be made from almost anything that will lay flat like sticks, reeds, or tin. Since the woman always builds the house because it is her house, it ends up being the same height as the wife, making it difficult for the man to stand up straight. Consequently, many older Maasai men develop lower back problems from many years of bending over while indoors. The women, men, and children are dressed in blankets, and the first thing they did was to dress us in blankets also, including a woman's celebratory necklace bib of sorts. The women gather together to create their craft or learn some skill. They took me aside to show me how to do beading and asked me how many children I had and why I didn't have any jewelry on my ears. Meanwhile, the men were evidently discussing matters of great importance. After beating for a while, the grandma invited us into her hut to describe their daily life. Our guide explained a lot about how they live and how they prepare the food they eat. Then grandma showed us how she sleeps on a hard platform softened by blankets and sheepskin. Suddenly, we were called out of the hut by the women singing and preparing a dance, which eventually included the men. Here's what that was like. Yeah, 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 yeah